Hi, I'm Janice. I teach science in Clearwater, Florida, and today I'm here to talk to you about how you would calculate the number of grams of sodium bicarbonate that you would need to produce carbon dioxide. Well, problems like this require doing something called stoichiometry and setting up what we call dimensional analysis problems or uh, factor label method problems. Well, if I want to know how, to, how much substance I need to produce carbon dioxide, I first need to know how much carbon dioxide I want to be producing. So let's just say that we want to produce two liters of carbon dioxide. And our question is, how many grams of sodium bicarbonate, which would be in the chemical formula NaHCO3. Well, there is no conversion out there that allows us to go directly from liters to grams. We have to go through something called moles. Moles is a very important unit of measurement in chemistry when we're doing stoichiometry because this is the only place that we can actually compare one substance to another. And we're going to get this number of moles from a balanced chemical equation. So let's take a look at that balanced equ chemical equation for the problem that we're looking at right here. So we might have something like NaHCO3 reacting with uh, something like hydrochloric acid, which is the acid in your stomach. And it's going to produce salt and water and there's the carbon dioxide I'm going to be looking for. And everything is in what we call a one-to-one -one ratio. There are no numbers out in front, no large numbers in front of any of these substances. So here's what we do. We set up what we call a factor label problem. And we start with what we're given. And what we're given is two liters of carbon dioxide. Now, when you want to convert from liters to moles, because remember, I'm going to have to go to moles to compare this substance to this, we use a conversion that's 22.4. So there's 22.4 liters in one mole. So I have liters written up top here. Anytime we're doing dimensional analysis, we want, we want the same units to be across from each other so we can cancel them out when we divide. So I'm going to put 22.4 liters of carbon dioxide down here. And then I'll have one mole of carbon dioxide up top. All right, now it's time to go to our balanced chemical equation and find what we call our mole ratio. So if we'll look, there are no numbers in front of these. Now, whenever there's no numbers, we're going to assume the number one. So all of these substances are in a one-to-one -one relationship to each other. So we would have one mole of sodium bicarbonate. NaHCO3 to one mole of carbon dioxide. Now I'm going to need to continue this on the next line. So I'll come down here and the next thing that I'm going to that I'm going to set up is the atomic mass of sodium bicarbonate because if you see right up here, we want to know how many grams of the stuff that we're going to have. So it turns out that in and I'm going to put one mole of NaHCO3 on the bottom, turns out that that weighs 84 grams. Now I'm going to check and make sure that all my units cancel out and that all I'm left with is grams of NaHCO3. So now it's just a question of doing the math. I'm going to have 2 times 1 times 84 divided by 22.4, and that's going to give me 7.5 grams of NaHCO3. And that's how you calculate how much sodium bicarbonate you need to um, produce 2 liters of carbon dioxide. I'm Janice. Have a great day.